Hey guys, and welcome back to Front Mission. When we last left off, we'd got to uh, another mission pretty much straight away in which we have to destroy some retreating enemies. Uh, we can manage that. Let's go. Start by having some pretty aggressive advances, I think. Wonderbar. Right, Natalie. Now, luckily, between each mission, you do get fixed up and repaired. Uh, that would kind of be a whole load of suck if you didn't. Now, you could potentially split your forces up into two here, which uh, I'm sort of tempted to do. Otherwise, we're just going to end up with like a mass of units that are ridiculously difficult, actually, to you know, maneuver around. I think that's what I am going to do. Now, let's check the battle map here. There's actually only three enemies here. Ah, oh, there's another squad there. Either that or we can have some advancing from this side. And some advancing up there. Actually, you can't because that's technically not part of the map. Yeah, you know what? We'll have some go one side and some go another side. That's not a problem. Alright, cool. Right, advance you dogs. There we go. Uh, we have an attacker and a missler. Hit the missler with the egret. <laughs> Almost wasted his ass. Like straight away. That's what we like to see. Now, because he's injured, he's probably going to try and escape. But, you know. Can't really do that when you're choking on your own guts. Got a husky mark four arm. Alright. It's curious. Actually fairly well equipped. Um Yeah, we've only got the Galvados with these guys. Yeah, I mean it's fine. It it does some amount of damage, I suppose. I think I'm gonna send four guys this way. Yeah, we'll send four guys this way. Uh that's another attacker around there. Uh, you know what? Continue softening this guy up. Yeah, that'll do it. That will do nicely. Alright, and then everybody else can just pile on this way. That's one, two, three, four, five. Alright. Now, the only thing we do need to be careful about... Yeah, you can go with the main force. Just in case anyone needs missiles to be resupplied. The only thing we do need to be a little bit wary of is... Natalie did use most of her repairs... In the last mission. Now one thing I don't like about this heavily built up area. Is it's incredibly difficult actually. To like see what's going on. And that was the same in the original as well. But luckily they do like highlight the enemies up in red. So it's not that bad I guess. Attacker. Hit him. Don't need to use guide. I don't know why I use guide actually. Maybe should, maybe it's not even worth having at all. To be honest, that's a commander. Might be worth taking the commander down. But you know what? Let's just hit the attacker first. One down. Trouble is, as I said, uh, these enemies, as soon as they start taking a little bit of damage, they're going to run for the hills. Uh, they always run back to a repair truck if it's possible. We don't really want that to happen, to be honest. Now, if we could disable the legs, that would kind of be awesome. Right, yeah, this guy is literally running with a trail of piss behind him. So, let's go for the Empire. Oh, lovely. Excellent, JJ. I knew there was a reason I was paying you an uh, obscene amount of money. At least I'm assuming I'm paying you an obscene amount of money. I would hope so. Alright, we're going to cut this attacker off. That's alright. Not doing huge amounts of damage, but we don't need to do huge amounts of damage. Just chip away at him. Slowly. Unfortunately, May is struggling to keep up with us. But again, she's in an outdated mech. I'm sorry, an outdated Wanza. That's fine. Can we actually disable the commander, I wonder? 
Yeah, okay. I mean, he's basically disabled. He certainly isn't running anywhere. <laughs> oh, you can try, sir. You can try. Ah, there's another missile there. That's a pain. Good. Come to me. Oh! Wow, the missile is actually engaging us in close combat. That's curious. Not really sure what the hell that's about, but whatever. Yes. Come to me. Alright. Alright, not bad. Somewhat painful weapon that he's using. Go for the Leo Social. Nice, disabled his legs. He's not running anywhere. <laughs> okay, everybody else is kind of just static. Which is fine. We'll push up kind of... Yeah, kind of like a basic advance. Um, the Missler is the juicier target, but I do want the Commander gone. No guide. Nice. Getting some nice levels as well. This is what we like to see. Got another repair. Now, uh, I believe if we actually take Natalie to the repair truck, uh, I can actually re-equip her with repair items, but I'm not that bothered about that, to be honest. I mean, yeah, she might get knocked around a little bit, but she'll be alright. She's a big girl. That's a better camera angle. I mean, it's not really. I don't like the overhead view at all, but it's better than what we had. Don't need to guide. Lovely. Another Wanza. Out of the fight. Cool. So... We've got him there. He's a missler. Alright. Let's see if we can engage him. We can. Let him have it. Come on, Keith. There we go. Oh, one of his missiles packs straight away is out of action. We like that. Uh, you know what? Alright, let's... Go for these missilers. Nice. Not bad, Fred. Would have been nice to see both of those hit, but it is what it is, I guess. Right, May, I want you to put a salvo on him. May! May! You're not listening to me. Nice. That went well. Right. Cool. Uh, push up and can you harass this missile up here? Yes, you can. Superb. Take him down. Adler. You're not listening to me, Adler. <sighs> okay. That's alright. Hmm. I want you to kind of back off, actually, just so. Got a bit more range to hit them with the missiles. There we go. That's one missile up. Completely disabled. At least disabled for now. Now, I don't know if the enemies actually do uh, repair themselves. I know they obviously go back to the trucks. But whether they actually physically repair themselves, I'm not 100% sure. But that's okay. All that matters is we're pushing these guys back. Are they really attacking us with their truck? That's kind of adorable when you think about it. Alright, let's sling some rockets at this guy. Whilst I drink coffee. Seems like a reasonable thing. Uh, attacker. Don't need to worry about him. He's probably the biggest threat. Well, you know, until he lost both his arms. Became armless. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Egret it is. 
Oh, man. Fred, I want you to take this guy out. Unfortunately, these bloody trucks are a lot stronger than you would think they would be. But that's fine. We're going to have to back off and use missiles. Yeah, man. Oof. All right. Oh, get rid of the, the carrier. I'm actually more concerned about the carrier at the moment. Oh, you need some training, boy. My dear boy, you need some training. Um, you're useless, so let's take him out. Now, having six rounds of rockets is a hell of a lot. You combine that throughout your entire force. It's not an insignificant number. Let's get Pewee. Uh, Pewee? Peewee. Actually into the action. Natalie? Uh, Natalie, you know what? Aim at him. Trouble with all these injured guys is they're going to be running away. So you want to kind of try and take him out. Yeah. Oh no, he's coming back. Yeah, he's coming back because they want to get to the repair... Um, cart. That's literally it. Now he's running away as well. Well, I mean, routing them is probably... I guess a good thing. Oof. Now, the trouble with that particular truck that's attacking us is it's got a rifle. And the rifles... Man, the rifles just do nasty damage. At the end of the day. Now, let's... Right, I don't want to start using up all of our egrets. He's got a punch and a pap 55. Alright, well, he's not actually that tough. If that's all he has, we'll engage with the Leo Social. Which is doing a decent amount. Ryu, okay, you've still got four volleys left, so. Alright, okay, okay. Natalie, you don't have many volleys left, but I can park you here. Uh, Alright, not sure why I couldn't fire with Natalie. Did I accidentally skip her attack? Possibly? Right, this situation down here is getting a little bit hot, isn't it? Alright, let's try and take these guys out. Not quite what I was looking for, but, you know, I guess it's a step in the right direction. Uh, yeah, he's useless, but then he'll be permanently useless if we took that out. But, let's attack the threat. Alright, the threat isn't really much of a threat anymore. Oh, come on. Me. Ugh, right. Okay, well. It sucks to waste a missile on it, but that thing has to die. Okay, so you also have to die. Well, you did. Good. That's what we like. Now, Peewee, my old lad, uh, you, you're going to stay there, and we're going to start reloading. Oh, here he comes. All right. Maybe there is no time for reloading. <laughs> oh, that was adorable. He tried. He actually tried to fight us. Oh. It is what it is, though. Okay. Right, he's coming back to engage. He's been rearmed. More or less. Which is bad, obviously. Now, what we kind of want to do here... We need... To start hitting that. Got 300 health. Which isn't as bad as you think. You see? 
I don't think the Clinton type can even move that far if memory serves. Can't remember. But we do need to hit it, alright? You know what? Do it. Don't need to guide. Just melt his ass down. You are done, son. Oh, that, I think, is actually a somewhat decent rocket launcher. Don't know if I'm going to want to pull back. Where was he? I'm trying to work out how many spaces he can move. Uh, right, I don't think he can move a huge amount of spaces. That's fine. We should have him next turn. Hopefully, if everything goes to plan. Right, you're still dangerous. I say dangerous, you know, loosely. Not sure why I can't move him there. Curious. Whatever. Go for the Leo Social then. Ooh. 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 Ooh, that was a spicy little punch there. Alright, well, get me doing something. Alright. Okay. Not fantastic, but... Um, get rid of that attacker. Cool. The attacker is now completely and utterly useless. I might get you down here. I don't think Adler is in range of this guy. I might be wrong. In which case, may the gods forgive me. No, I uh, nope. He's kind of <laughs> worming his way back to the repair truck. He's obviously taken a few barrages too many, and thought this ain't it, chief. That's fine. In which case, I'm going to give chase and put some more rockets up his arsehole. That's not really what I had in, in mind, I'll be honest. I expected more from that. Now this does put us in a nasty position of being in range of this guy. So we need to drop this guy. Like, now, really. You're not listening, guys. Come on, Natalie. You're in a bad position, Natalie. Yeah, thought as much. Okay. You need to make this work, Keith. Yes, he's done. Get out of here. Scrapped him. So, let's go just chase these guys down, to be honest. Not worth messing around with. Let's get some uh, short range experience. Whilst I drink coffee. Excellente. And you know what, May? You can smoke yourself a repair kit. Just for the funsies. Excellent. Okay, so what are you doing? You're, you're good. Right, let's try and get back into the fight. Although, we should be fine. Oh, he's done. Couldn't handle the heat, huh? Okay. Ooh. Hello. Getting a little bit close. Close and personal. Ah, oh, did both your weapons come off? Ah, oh, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Right, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to stay there and resupply my weapons. And you can resupply your weapons. And you, Natalie, you can just take some pot shots at this guy. Oh, we broke his leg now, too. Well, sorry, his tracks, I guess. Doesn't really have legs, does he? Keith! 
Uh, Keith, you can just wheel on back there. And you can reload next turn. Not that I think we really need to reload, to be honest with you. I think he's going to get fisted in the pooper. Either way. Alright. Should I say the enemy is going to get fisted in the pooper? And I'm down for that. Beautiful. Certainly going to be liberating this space. Are you out of missiles as well? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Definitely got our money's worth out of these missiles. Not bad. Not bad. Um, I guess we could have some carrier on carrier action. Actually, no. We need you to sit there so you can rearm everyone, don't you? He is. Because we don't really want to get uh, in a position where the sink can fire back at us, to be honest. So we're just going to volley large quantities of rockets its way. You know, the way God intended, basically. Fight smarter, not harder. Natalie only has one... Well, she's got one pack left. She can contribute. Kind of. Although not really. You're completely empty. Resupply. I guess there's no point in moving all these guys up, but we will anyway. Beautiful. Actually kept May alive as well. Which we do enjoy. Oh! How many rockets do you have? You got one salvo left, that's fine. You might actually get a look in, maybe. Ah, uh, he's out, empty. You know what, let's just engage. Let's get this over with. Ugh. Oh, he's got a rifle, you see? It's the rifle that makes them dangerous. Can you hit him, Pee Wee? With your PAP 55? You can, but, I mean, it's kind of pointless. Oh, Pee-wee! Yes, Pee-wee! We was rooting for him all along. Good man. All hostiles limited, eliminated. No, another one. Behind us! What? Whoa, whoa, don't shoot me. It's me, Hans. Hands? What the hell are you doing here? I'm in trouble. I hacked into the army mainframe to track down Karen's whereabouts, and they managed to trace me. They're looking for me now. Please, take me with you. We're also under the control of the army. Yeah, but you're mercenaries. It's better to be with you than on my own. Besides, it'd be the last place they'd look. Did you find anything about Karen? Not much. I couldn't crack most of the encryption. All I could find was that a military research branch called the Nirvana uh, Institute was involved somehow. I couldn't find out what they are or where they are, for that matter. That's something to go on. So, can I go with you? Do as you like. Thanks. I'll owe you one. Yes, you will, lad. Yes, you will. We've got some nice money there. Five grand for the mission. And we've made as much by scrapping the enemy. Not bad. Happy with that. For now. Right, so we're actually back in Freedom City. So let's have a little chat in the bar. See what we can find out. Neo Bliss. Sounds like both the UCS and the OCU are buying more uh, Sakata made Wanzas recently. Are they that good? Well, I guess if everyone's buying them, they must be. Gregorio's an arena beast. He's even tougher in person, you know. Ah, Gregorio, eh? Freedom at last. <laughs> the male river that runs to the east of here used to be the OCU OCS order before the war. 
which means we finally broke, uh, take back what's ours. Ah, freedom's gone downhill since the occupation. Everyone and their dog is spending their time and cash in the arena. The electricity generated by the Mail River Dam powers almost all of Freedom City. Freedom City, eh? I've never heard such a more anime city name. <laughs> I came here to haul the squads back home, but they told me they're not ready to go yet. Okay, so you're just going to sit there and drink with them, I suppose. If you can't beat them, join them, right? Right, so I guess we could uh, have a quick look in the shop, see if there's anything more. What are you looking for? I'll tell you what I'm looking for. I saw some of the newest ones as the statement were riding. Man, I'd pay an arm and a leg to get me one of those. Would you now? Right, so. Looks like the Leo Social. Oh my god, the Leo Social is beyond obsolete at this point oh my so what will we be upgrading to we'll be upgrading to the grave s very nice and the rifle that we have installed what rifle are you using he's using the empire so man the empire is all the way down here 24 damage. What can we move him up to? Oof. That's actually an interesting rifle. Uh, the Weenie Plus. It does 18 damage. So it does less damage, obviously. But it fires two shots. Kind of interesting. Or we can just go for the Hex Fire. Um, which kind of looks like a mad railgun. And that does one times 34 damage, which is nice. So two chances at 18 damage, or just doing straight 34 damage. I think with the rifles, I just prefer to do more damage, to be honest. I mean, technically, if both shots hit, you're doing like two more damage, but that's a hell of an if. And that weapon is more accurate as well. Ah, we can get the gold ass here, which apparently... Ah, right, yeah, no, so the gold ass um, is the first launcher we actually get that's better than the egret. But it only holds two volleys instead of three, which is in some ways a downgrade, but, you know, we're still going to have plenty of ammo for it. So what parts can we get? Ah, we can get the Zelt. So the Zelt has less defense, but it has more HP. We go for the Frost. The Frost has a lot of armor and a lot of HP. But it doesn't have a lot of uh, weight. Well, I guess we're going to upgrade to the Zelt. Probably the Zelt arm then as well, I guess. Well, the frost arm is actually more accurate. But the Zelt is better when it comes to defense. And it weighs less. So we're probably going to be going with the Zelt then. We're going to go for the Zelt legs. There's a big downgrade in everything but health. Might keep the R's for now. CPU, we will be getting the uh, Argnito. Yep, the Argnito. And we can finally upgrade our backpacks as well. Which I'm going to do all of that off screen because it's probably going to involve spending a significant amount of time at the arena to get all the money. So, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.